Hello and welcome for the love of food. So today, earlier, we did a segment on how to cut up a watermelon. And at that time, I talked about the watermelon rind and uses for it. I've never made these before. It's my first time. But we're going to go ahead and try and make some watermelon rind pickles. So everything you see here is what I used, with the exception of some water as well. So we cut up our watermelon. Let me show you this. And we make sure that we take and peel off all that dark green rind so that we're left with just these wonderful slices of watermelon with some of the white rind and maybe a little bit of the pink for color. We're going to see how this turns out. Now I've seen it done both ways with very little pink on it. What we added to our water was some ginger, star anise, allspice, sugar, salt, and red pepper flake. We also added in a little bit of apple cider vinegar like I have here. So what we're doing is we're boiling down with some water all of the ingredients with the exception of the watermelon rind for 60 seconds. Then we're going to put in the watermelon rind and let that boil for 30 minutes. We'll be back to show you what that looks like. Hello, here you can see we've added our watermelon rind and we're just bringing that pot back up to a boil and then we'll let it simmer for 60, I mean for 30 minutes. So we had put it on for about 60 seconds, boiling it for about 60 seconds, letting it, all that sugar dissolve and all the flavors come through. And then we added in our little watermelon slices very carefully and we are going to let this go again, as I said, for it's going to boil, then it's going to simmer for about 30 minutes. We'll be back just before we take this off, and then we'll show you our final product as we put it in our mason. Now that our watermelon rind is boiling away, we're going to go ahead and turn this down to just a simmer for that 30 minutes. So it's been about 15 minutes that these watermelon rinds have been cooking. We got another 15 minutes to go, but I want to just kind of show you why we're cooking these for that 30 minutes. So if I stick my fork into the actual watermelon rind, let me pick a good one here, I can still see that it's got a lot of toughness to it. It's not as tender as it needs to be. So the reason that we're cooking these down is to get them tender. Think about a potato. It starts out really hard, but then after you cook it for a little while, about 30 minutes, that potato is going to soften up. The one thing I wish that you could do that I can do right now is smell this. Again, I wish we had smell-o-vision. All right, because my house smells like anise and clove and all those wonderful exotic flavors from the ginger and the the five spice it just smells wonderful um cinnamony almost so this watermelon and my mouth is watering because i can certainly smell this and taste this this watermelon rind i think is going to be a fabulous addition to our table all right thanks for watching for the love of food